Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, has come under serious fire from Nigeria, Nigerians as a result of the letter he had sent to the Inspector General of Police. And um, most Nigerians believe that he is now the Attorney General of APC, no more of the Federation, as most people believe that he should show no interest in the issue of politics since he's representing the interests of the people. In a letter that he sent to the Inspector General of Police, uh, a title urgent and nationalistic appeal to intervene in the restoration of constitutional democracy in a do state of Nigeria, the Attorney General of the Federation says, my office is in receipt of a letter dated 3rd August 2020 from West Idaosa and Co. requesting for the intervention of my office on behalf of its client who are member-elect of the Edo State House of Assembly Board who were excluded or prevented from being inaugurated till dead since the House of Assembly was inaugurated on 17 June 2019. A copy of the data is uh, attached for case of reference. The law firm requested that the affected member elect who are willing to discharge their constitutional rules should be inaugurated or sworn in by the clerk of the House. Furthermore, the members who have also been sworn in should not be prevented from discharging their duties under whatever guise the above request is in line with the provision of section 90 91 101 and 104 of the 1999 constitution as altered in view of the form foregoing and in order to ensure constitutional compliance with the details of section 91 to 96 of the 1999 constitution as altered and also to prevent breakdown of peace law and order i am requesting that you kindly provide adequate security measures for the purpose of the inauguration of the concerned members and the subsequent sitting of the do state house of assembly please accept as usual the assurance of my best regard and highest esteem. And uh, with this letter, Nigerians are really not happy. Most believe that what is ongoing is a plot to see how they can deflate the popularity of uh, the popularity of Governor Obasiki towards him winning um, this for the second time a do state um, governorship election, which will be coming up on September 19, 2020 and most nigerians have reacted this one says i said it malami is actually the apc attorney general and this one says only god can save Basiki. i pity him he does not understand politics and politician he was advised wrongly he too took the wrong advice miscalculated and took the wrong step 90 percent of people he thinks are loyal to him are not they waited with him to share his plan with them before they leave. He lost touch with the grassroots politicians. They are the most powerful. They do, do all the dirty jobs in politics. Oloshola, Saraki, Bola Tinibu, and Adedibu understand this very well. He became too late. He should have known that they will frustrate him out out apc with osho as the chairman the masses can love him but only the politicians can deliver when it comes to election now the security arm of the government have had it clear they are against him then who will defend his loyalty will you be surprised if they impeach him before election obasiki should approach the court today to contest the legality of the new house my people in edo my prayer is, is that God will keep you, but always remember none of these people worth dying for. Wow, that's a great one there from that young man. And this one said, what is a letter from the office of AGF of the sovereign nation doing in the public space? Why do I feel uh, West Idaosa and Co. needed this advert for public gain? So much to talk about here because um, the case is getting tougher. Most people believe that why this inauguration is overly important is because 
Um, the purpose is to see how Obasiki can be kicked out of office even before that September 19 election. And other people are of the opinion that it's, it's absolutely right because those people had been waiting for as long as now. Now, the big question is what will happen in September 19? Because from what we are seeing, the federal mind had already shown that they are hugely in support of Pastor Ezeyamo, as even the president today had warned that what happened in other states where they had felt like bias and the likes should not happen, which means their target is to ensure that APC takes over power in a those state. What will this guy, um, Governor Basiki, do at this point? The suggestion is if he doesn't want to be impeached before September 19, he should go to court and ensure that the legality of that particular, the new people that have been, you know, inaugurated is contested against. Because if he does not do this, yeah, a lot of people believe that it takes, uh, it takes weeks for impeachment to take place. But don't forget, in Nigeria, anything is just possible, especially when you are fighting against the a ruling party. Anything is just possible. They can take two days, they can take five days, they can shorten five, five weeks to five days, and they will impeach him. So I, the ideal thing, as he had been advised, is to run to the court and see how he can put up a case against the legality of this new house that is currently fighting him. Mm -hmm. uh, Wallace uh, uh, Sorry had also come out to, you know, lambast the president why he should you know endorse the person of a pastor is, is a yamo and his reasons are not uh, too far that currently the young man is facing 700 million naira allegation that's a corruption allegation in the court if that case has not been resolved why should he go ahead and endorse him and he's also pointing fingers at the NDDC guy, that's the Minister of Niger Delta, um, Akpabio. That Akpabio also, just like Akpabio's case, who was facing a, an issue with EFCC, but yet he was given the post of a minister. And then there's a lot of question mark on the case of the president being the anti-corruption chairman of Africa. And people are wondering, is it truly that we are really fighting um fighting corruption in nigeria but however with what is currently going on i think that is a yamo may carry the day this is just my speculation and uh, i don't i don't expect i should be swallowed up by this speculation but from all indication just like it has been uh, said by that young man i i, I feel at this point uh, obasiki needs to do every get every um advice from those who have uh, you know over power the likes of uh, uh, Shumule and ask them how would he come out smoking at the end of the day? Because right now, if you look at the Do State, things are really, really working against him. Imagine, despite the fact that there was no mass during the period of the inauguration of these people, and they also the appointment of the Speaker of the House of Assembly, there was no mass. But yet, they went ahead with it. And look at now, the, uh, the Attorney General of the Federation has authenticated it and said, hey, go ahead with it. I believe at this point, the Attorney General should have been so careful not to get involved in anything that has to do with the dosted because all eyes are currently on it and they are waiting, people were waiting to see what his response will be. But however, do you think that uh, um, Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakala um, Malami, is actually the APC Attorney General, or do you think he's only doing his job? Please go to our comment section. Let us interact. Tell us your position in respect to this case. Don't forget also to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Jesus loves.